Don't you love springtime? I sure do. But do you know what comes with spring? Outside cleanup, pressure washing cars, pressure washing siding, pressure washing sidewalk. Do you get a theme? Today we're going to be looking at the turbo jet. You see this thing? It's supposed to take any hose and turn it into a pressure washer. That's what we're going to look at today. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. And my channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like it. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. Now, let's dig into TurboJet to see if it's really any good. Not that long ago, a subscriber of mine asked me to review the TurboJet as seen on TV pressure washing wand that hooks into your garden hose. All right, so here it is. It's about mm, 30 inches long, so just over two feet or two and a half feet. Um, it does come with two attachments. That one that's already included on here, this one is called the Jet Stream Nozzle. And then there's one here for storage. This is called like their fan spray, so it's more of a fan. This is a fine point, and this one's more of a fan used for cars and tires and things. And this one is used um, to get really the nitty gritty out. All right, so let's talk a little bit about it. This looks like it's made out of aluminum. That's what it feels like. I have a quarter turn shutoff. So when it's like this, it's in the off position. So you have your garden hose hooked here. No water is going through. As soon as you turn the quarter turn, now the water shoots out. Um, on this end, you have a nice, what looks like a brass fitting and a rubber washer. That's always good when connecting to a garden hose. All right, so the basic premise of this, oh, I should mention, it does have an ergonomic handle for your fingers and your thumb to fit in. All right, so the basic premise is your garden hose comes in here and then this narrows until it gets to the shutoff here and it gets even more narrow. And so you're putting a lot of water here and it's supposed to shoot it out very fast here. And it says it works on any garden hose. Now, I, as you might know from any of my other videos, I live out in the country. I have a well. My pressure, water pressure here is pretty decent, but coming from a hose, it's not that great. So I want to see even if my water for my hose can make this into a jet stream. I have a couple different things I want to clean. Um, tire on the camper. I want to see if I can get it up to the second story of the house. I also want to see if I can pressure wash some steps because those will need to be painted soon. Let's go check out the TurboJet outside. So this is the water pressure I get here on my well. It's not that bad, it flows pretty strong. And if I need to get to um, like a more of a pressure, I can put my thumb here, but it's not really ideal. It doesn't help me wash tires, doesn't help me wash the second level of my house. So now I'll be excited to try the Turbo Jet. I've hooked up my hose to the Turbo Jet. Let's see what it looks like when we turn this on-off valve. Ready? Go. Seems to put out a pretty strong stream, but I really want to see how it does with my tires. But in order to do that, I've got to take this one, because this one's the more of a spray versus the jet. Um, this is the fan one versus the jet, because you're not supposed to use the jetted one on your tires. So let's go to my tires now with this top. All right. Tires are kind of muddy. Let's see if the turbo jet helps. I'm going to be honest with you right away. I felt as though this was not a very strong spray. Much stronger on the jet. I'm not sure I want to do that in my tires, but this fan spray, sadly, just doesn't do it. I would love to hear from you. What are your thoughts of this turbo jet? As seen on TV, gold or not so much? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Have you used the TurboJet or something like this? What were your experiences like? Let me know down below.
So if you look at this, the fan sprayer is more like a sprinkler. Definitely nothing that you would use to clean. Almost like something children would play in. If this was a traditional pressure washer, there's no way I would do this. Very little pressure is coming out of there. The tire cleaning test with my little turbo jet here was a fail, right? So I was using the fan sprayer because I didn't want to damage the tires. And realistically, it just got them wet. It didn't even push any of the dirt off of them. What I'm going to try is I'm going to go from the fan. I already took it off the fan tip to the jet tip or jet spray. Now I'm not going to spray my tires just in case the pressure is higher. I'm going to try it on, um, I've been pressure washing my front steps, getting them ready for painting. I'm going to see if this will do anything. So let's go try that. I had already been pressure washing this with my gas powered pressure washer, but I wanted to try the jet nozzle hose on here to see if I can get any of this stuff off before I have this repainted. Let's try it out. The jet is definitely a stronger spray, but I'm just still not seeing the kind of pressure that I'd like to see from a pressure washer. And I can move stuff around, but that's all just debris. Yeah. Yet again, if this is a pressure washer, I would never touch this because it would hurt. Sadly, the jet sprayer didn't do very good either. Now, it did hose off dirt, but frankly, I don't need this to spray dirt off of the steps. Another claim that the TurboJet made was you could spray off your second story. With my standard hose, I can get the first story. I got this so I can spray off the second story. So let's go check it out to see if I can spray the second story off with my TurboJet. The last test I have is seeing if I can spray up to the second story. And whereas it reaches to the second story, I'm still not sure what good it will do. We have been looking at the TurboJet. The TurboJet is this wand structure here that you're supposed to be able to hook into your garden hose and turn your garden hose from regular pressure into a pressure washer. So I did three tests. The first test, I used the fan sprayer tip and I sprayed my tires of the car. And you know what? It didn't do anything other than get the tire wet. So then I gave it another chance. I switched from the fan tip to the jet tip and I tried pressure washing some of the steps. I had been using my gas powered one earlier and I figured out, oh, let me try this one out. Nothing. I mean, it moved dirt around, but my garden hose can do move dirt around. Well, then I went to spray the upper level, the second story of the house. And to be honest with you, the turbo jet did get the water to go to the second level of the, of the house. Now, that being said, it wasn't very high pressure. It was sort of like a single stream and it almost looked like it was just raining on the house. So I don't really know the practicality of that for me. Um, I did say earlier that I'm on a well and my pressure isn't as strong as some, but it's it's okay, right? It should actually work for this. It actually seemed as though the pressure got weaker from here as opposed to my hose. Does that make sense? Um, you did see my part in the video where I actually stuck my hand in front of it, and that's something you would never do to a pressure washer. Um, so for me, this was really a disappointment. I was thinking of something you can do. If you take the tip off and you have some balloons, you can maybe use this to fill water balloons if you wanted to. That's about the only thing I can think of. Um, anyway, this was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You, and this was my review of the TurboJet. I appreciate you sticking by. As always, have a great day. Now that I'm done with the review on the TurboJet, well, first, let me back up. I did go and test this out at a friend of mine's house whose water pressure is a little better than mine, um, and I found the same results. I didn't end up filming it because what was the point of showing you the same things where it didn't really work? But I did want you to know that I tried to take the variable out that maybe my water pressure wasn't strong enough, um, and I honestly got the same results. 
Anyway, the reason I bought this turbojet is because I wanted to spray off the siding of my house and clean off the siding of my house because every spring, that's what I have to do. Not that long ago, I did a review of this product called Mold Armor. It's an easy house wash. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link it up here. The whole premise behind Mold Armor is you're supposed to be able to spray it on and it cleans off the unsightly green stuff or black stuff or dirt or whatnot and you don't have to scrub. So let's see if it works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that video right up here and I would love it if you would click on it. I'm gonna meet you over here. So go ahead and click this link right up here. It's safe, I promise.